Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Coding 101. My name is Kutlo and in today's video, we're going to be looking at some of the coolest HTML tags um, that you probably don't know much about, right? Some of you may know the HTML tags, but I think it's very interesting for me to share some of these tags because uh, they're not really popular in the web development world. But I think once you learn about them, you will understand them and you'll probably even use them a lot when coding. So in today's lesson, I'm using play code because I want to um, be able to code while at the same time show you the result of my operation or my execution. So we're at playcode.io. So you can check. It's a very powerful internet or online IDE uh, that you can use to um, see your or the execution of your code in real time, right? So let's just get into it. So the first thing that I'm going to teach you is how to do a strike through test. Um, and there's this uh, tag that is called DEL, which is like DEL. I don't know if it's pronounced DEL or DEAL. Um, so it's very important. So let's first start off with a P tag. Um, I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to say this channel is called Coding 101, not Coding 101. Two. So we're just gonna create a strike through. We're just gonna make this text over here, coding 102, a strike through text through our DAL tag. We're just gonna do that. So close it off over here, and just like that, as you can see at the very bottom, that a strike through text has been created. So that's very much easy. That's just creating a strike through text. The nomad. Uh, you would have to use CSS to do this, but now you know how to do it in HTML, right? So as long as we're dealing with text, I also want to share how to make a highlight uh, of text in using HTML without the use of CSS. This is something also that is famously uh, used uh, or created through CSS, but I'm going to show you how to do it with HTML. You would just simply use the mark tag, so just like that. I'm going to just close out the mark. And as you can see, this text over here has been highlighted. So this is just uh, uh, one uh, of the coolest or uh, cool tags that you can use. They are famously used uh, through HTML5. So now let's use the ABBR tag, which stands for abbreviation. So. We're just going to create our P tag as always. And then we're going to abbreviate the president of the United States. We're going to just make an ABBVR text. ABBR. It's very hard to do. I'm just going to say title of our abbreviation. I'm just going to put, it. sorry about that. supposed to be just title. There you go. Title. I'm going to be President of the United States. And so the abbreviation to that is POTUS. So POTUS in 2022 is show by the now, the special thing about uh, this tag, actually go to the abbreviation, and if you hover, you will notice that a tooltip is going to be shown, and that uh, abbreviation title is going to be shown. So that's very special. That's really good. And so the next tag that I'm going to be showing to you is essentially a range tag and it is used to give an indication of whether the results uh, that you probably received are either good, uh, they, are they medium, are they bad, are they worse, or anything like that. It's like a range. So I think it's much easier if I just show it to you. So I'm just going to write it down over here. Let me just cancel this. So it's a meter tag. So first I'm just going to do... Of course, our P tag is always. 
we're going to be abusing our p tag today and i'm going to say temperature and we're going to put our meter tag inside just like that and let's just close it there you go you can see the range and we need to put the minimum value which would be zero and put the maximum value which just for today it's going to be 100 and we're going to say if the temperature is low then it should be at around 20 if the temperature is high then it should be at around 90 and if the temperature is at its optimum state then it should be at around 30. And if we give this a value, we're going to assign a value, and we're going to assign a value to this, and we're going to just say 20. And you can see it shows green uh, to show that the temperature is actually low, but if we were to put 96, you would notice that the color changes. So this is our meter tag. It is exactly the same with the next tag that I'm going to describe to you, but this one is mostly used to show uh, the progress of something, like maybe the progress of a project. Uh, it doesn't really have much, uh, it's not the same with the meter tag in the sense that there are no color changes and there is no max, low, high, optimum. It just simply shows you the progress of, let's say, a project, the progress of an activity and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to copy and paste this side by side, just like that. So this one just shows you the progress, and just, just shows you the range of a particular um, event, object, or anything. So let's move on to our next cool tag. Aren't these cool? I think these are really, really cool tags. I think once we're done, you're going to be fighting to use these tags. tags. The next tag that I'm going to explain to you is, I feel like, something that most people don't know about. Um, it is a color picker. Did you know that in HTML, you can actually implement a color picker? So instead of actually um, going to JavaScript or downloading a JavaScript um, a file to, in order to put in a color picker, you can just simply use um, HTML. So let's just get straight into it, right? So we're just going to write choose color. And we're just, it's a simple input tag. I'm just going to say input. And we've made some CSS to just decorate it to make it look nice. It's nothing too hectic. Okay. We're just going to go color picker. And over here, this is the important part the type we put color and we're done and that is your color pick over there and if you click over there you will notice that you are able to choose from a variety of colors so isn't that cool you no longer have to um, go around looking for the right uh, JavaScript um, library to implement this a simple solution is HTML5. So I'm going to show you uh, the last um, tag that I feel like is really, really cool and you should know about is the group options tag. This is something that I feel I always use um, in my projects. So if you have many options in a drop down list and you'd like to show maybe some of the options grouped. Uh, I, 
so if you have many options in your drop down list and you would like to see some of your options grouped into certain categories uh, there is now a new element there's now an element I don't know if this is an old or is it a new element but there's an element called opt group uh, which will help you categorize your list of options so what we're going to do today is that we're going to do an option of um, movies and we're going to separate them between uh, and we're going to classify our movies we're going to ask the user to choose between Marvel and DC movies yeah that's the proper way to do this example so this is obviously a select tag and we're going to do our options in, a, in the select tag do that and so we'll do the first option obviously it's going to be select an option and we're going to give it a value of literally nothing and now we, we use our opt group to group our option our marvel uh, movies option let's just close that up opt group and we're going to put a label we're going to label our opt group options and we're going to call them these are marvel movies you know when it comes to marvel and dc i don't really know where i fall i actually feel that both of them or all of them are good and i don't see what the fuss is about shall we close this tag um so we're just gonna go iron man let's just copy this down so we don't have to do we're just gonna do three of them I'm going to say Captain America. And then we're going to do four. I believe this is the big three, right? Awesome. If you click your option over here, you will notice this is our label. And now uh, we're going to do the same for our DC Comics Plus. We're just going to put DC over here. Um, I'm going to put Batman. In no particular order, I must say. And then we're going to put Superman. And then Wonder Woman. I believe this is... This represents the big three for DC Comics. I don't know. So you will see that our opt group tag has allowed us to put our options into, or to split our options into categories. So that's a very cool uh, tag to use if you want to really get in uh, to be able to specify your options in much more detail so this is one of the tags that you could probably use so i hope this video was very useful for you these are some of the cool tags i think i'll probably do another video because there's so many of them um, that i would really want to show you guys but for now i think these ones will suffice so um i hope this video was really beneficial for you please make sure you subscribe if you have not subscribed please make sure you subscribe Make sure you hit the like button and make sure you leave a comment below um, so that um, I could see how, if you have any questions. And make sure you leave a comment below if you have any questions. I'd be happy to answer all your questions. So thank you very much and I will see you next time on Coding 101.